Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be flying from Detroit Metro Airport to Houston's George Bush Intercontinental Airport with Spirit Airlines. My flight out to Houston will start at Detroit Metro's North Terminal. The North Terminal at Detroit houses all airlines other than Delta and other airlines in the SkyTeam Alliance. The North Terminal's gate spaces also has plenty of seating options. And the best part, no dots on the windows, which allows for great views of the planes. The North Terminal also features a long design, with shops and restaurants scattered throughout the terminal. I think that the wood and lighting around the bathrooms gives this airport a very modern feel. Another interesting thing at this airport is the copies of artwork from the nearby Detroit Institute of Art. There are also these pretty cool lights. Then our plane pulled into the gate, a brand new A320neo that featured Spirit Airlines' newer livery. But soon it was time to board the plane. Boarding was finished pretty fast, with Zone 1 boarding first and Zone 4 boarding last. As I stepped onto the plane, I noticed that this plane was fitted with the newer Spirit Airlines' seats. And here's my seat, 6F. Sitting down in my seat, I was actually quite impressed. This seat seems to have a little more legroom, but they're just as hard as the old ones. Soon, the safety demonstration started and we began pushing back from our gate. Hang by pulling the loops into the belt. To open your seatbelt, click the metal flap on the buckle. For your safety, and for the safety of those around you, please keep your seatbelt fastened at all times while seated. There are emergency exits located in the front, mid cabin, and back of the aircraft. All exits are clearly marked with exit signs, directions for opening, and are equipped with evacuation slides. Overhead signs and aisle lighting lead to all exits. Slides at the front and back door exits can be detached and used as wraps. Please take a moment to locate the exit nearest you, keeping in mind. After pushing back, we had a very short taxi to runway 22 left. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Pull the mask towards you to start the but for now, enjoy this takeoff on the brand new A320neo. Now that we're in the air, let's take a look at the new Spirit Airlines seat. First, we have the magazine rack that has now been moved to the top of the seat. We'll take a look at the contents later. Next, we have an actual tray table. This tray table is way better than Spirit Airlines' past tray tables. These are much larger, but still smaller than Delta's. It can even pull back towards you. Spirit Airlines claims that by moving the magazine rack to the top of the seat allows more usable legroom. This is true, and I had plenty of space to stretch out. This seat also offered great views of the new engine on the A320neo. And inside the magazine rack, they have a motion sickness bag and a safety information card. Individual reading lights and air vents were also available on this flight. Now as we descend into the Houston area, I'd like to rate this flight. First, we have the crew. The crew on this flight did their normal services, but spent most of their time chatting in the galley and didn't come through the cabin many times. This gets a 3 out of 5. Next, we have the food. Although there was a buy on board menu, the selections were pretty limited and the prices were very expensive. This gets a 2 out of 5. And finally, we have the seat. The newer Spirit Airlines seat is way better than the older one and it's great to see the Spirit Airlines improving their product. 
but the seat is still pretty hard and uncomfortable, so this gets a 3 out of 5. Now as we land, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.